Hey, it's Abby, and as promised, I'm excited to be back today with the reveal of Donnie's organized and very masculine home office. I was so excited for this project because I wanted him to have a space that was all his own. In our townhouse, his office was this dark, cramped little eight by eight corner of the basement. So now he finally has his dream office that he's always wanted. He would ask me for opinions here and there, but for the most part, all of the design and organization ideas and everything was pretty much Donnie's. I had very minimal say in it. So let's go ahead in and I will let him give you the grand tour. After I cleared out my office, I thought it was a good time to upgrade the window and door trim. With our new house build, all the windows came with a basic window sill, but nothing around the edges and the top of the windows. So I added Craftsman style trim around the windows and doors and painted them white, which I think really stands out next to the gray paint we used in my office. The paint color is called Chain Reaction from Bear. It ended up being a little darker than we thought it would be, but we really like how it looks in this room. I also installed bamboo shades that match the ones we have in our sunroom and living room. Before we get to the new organized shelves, I'll show you my new desk area. Years ago, I built a standing desk out of pipes in an Ikea desktop. It was nice, but there were just times when I really wanted to sit. I did a lot of research and decided to get a motorized standing desk from a company called Fooley, and my model is the Jarvis. It's a 60 inch wide desk and has a bamboo top. The legs and frame are the natural color, which is just unfinished metal instead of metal that's been painted. The best thing about this desk is that it has programmable positions and can move up and down to the right height just by pushing the buttons. So over the course of a day, I'll move it from standing to sitting multiple times. So I'm really getting great use out of it so far. Now moving over to the wall of shelves, we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. One thing we really like about these shelves is that they don't sit on the floor. Getting everything up and off the floor just makes the somewhat small office feel a little bit bigger. It's also easy to keep the floor clean this way. For the bottom row, we use 16 inch deep shelves. So the idea for this bottom row is just to have a place for all of my video equipment. We just started making YouTube videos a few months ago, but it's amazing how much stuff we ended up with from lights to microphones, cables, batteries, and just all sorts of other stuff. We need all of this equipment to be somewhat mobile and easily able to move from one room to another or wherever we are shooting. So I organized everything into these Bosch L boxes. The boxes are actually toolboxes, but because they come in so many different sizes and snap together, I thought they'd be perfect for organizing the video equipment. I also used Abby's label maker to label each box so I know exactly what's in everything without opening them up. I can't tell you how much better it is having all this equipment organized this way. No more searching around for little parts or cables. Everything has a place and when it's time to set up for filming, it's easy to just grab the boxes I need and head to the right room. Also, with kids, it's nice that the equipment is a little more protected and not just laying out. The bottom row is also where I have the wireless router and a little hard drive bay that we use for video storage. I did my best to bundle up all the cables and zip tie everything nice and neat so it looks a little more organized. Moving up, I have two rows of wire mesh drawers, deeper drawers on the bottom, and then a row of shallow drawers above. These drawers are about the greatest thing ever. They feel really sturdy and roll in and out very easily. It's nice that you can see into the drawers through the mesh to get an idea of what's in each one just at a glance without opening it. You can buy these little label holders made specifically for these drawers that snap into place. I'm still changing things around a little bit, so I haven't labeled everything except for the ones that I'm absolutely sure of. Now, I have to say, at first I wasn't convinced about being able to organize things in these drawers, but that was until I found these drawer dividers made to match these wire mesh drawers. The dividers are really great for the shallow drawers. In one drawer, I keep all the little office supplies and a few other things. And without the dividers, it would just be a big mess. But dividing it up into four little rows really makes a big difference. 
Above the drawers, I use a row of 16 inch shelves again, just like on the bottom row. This is the right depth to cover the top of the drawers. I decided to use this row of shelves for commonly used things. It's at the perfect height to get to easily. So on the left side, I have a row of little clear document holders from the container store. These were actually recommended to me by the person at the store who helped me design my shelving unit because they come in so many different sizes and are really inexpensive. I think they're a great way to organize documents, but I also organize some magazines and notebooks in these. The little clip-on labels help me know where to put things. Right now, I even have a couple empty containers. Nothing wrong with having some extra space for the future. Then right next to these clear containers, I have a little spot for my two cameras and lenses. There's only one there now because I'm using the other one to film. But I really like having them right there, kind of on a little display shelf but it's also nice to be able to just grab them really quickly if I want to film something. And then for the rest of this row and the next two, I have nothing but books. These are 12 inch shelves, so they're recessed a little bit compared with the drawers and the bottom shelves. And I think that's really the perfect depth for books. It's nice with Alpha that you can buy little bookends that snap into the shelving uprights. And you can also buy bookends that slide over the front of the shelf. The ones that slide over the front of the shelf are a little more versatile because they can move back and forth on the shelf, whereas the other ones can only clip into the upright, so you're limited on where you can put them. On the second to top shelf, it's another 12 inch shelf. I have some boxes with pictures and a few other boxes that some of my electronics came in. It definitely doesn't look the best to have a row of boxes up here, but for me, it's more important for my office to be organized and functional than just look 100% perfect. And I am really excited about the top row of my wall of shelves. It was really challenging for me to figure out where to store all the long and heavy video equipment like lights and tripods and mic stands. Before I redid my office, I just had everything piled up on the floor because they're so big and bulky and they didn't really seem to fit nicely anywhere. So I actually went into my design meeting at the container store and told them about the issue and she recommended I use ventilated shelving for the very top row. So the ventilated shelving are just metal wire shelves. I honestly think this is a perfect solution. I use a little stool from Ikea to get to this stuff, and then the stool can sit nicely out of the way when I'm not using it. Because the shelves are the wire ventilated type, they're super durable, so I don't have to worry about scratching anything up. And I can also see from below what's on the shelves. At both ends of the top shelf, I use a little row of hooks that snap into the brackets. So this space is a bit high, but the hooks are a good place to store my backpack on one end. And then on the other end, I have my fly fishing rod. So that is the main wall of shelving in my office. It really is crazy how much I can fit into this space. I think we did a pretty good job maximizing the space, but at the same time, I don't think it feels too cramped or crowded or anything like that. But now I'll show you what we did on the other side of the room. So this is where I sit and read and drink my coffee and look out the window. So what we decided to do here was use alpha just to kind of match everything. But we used a configuration where the bottom shelf acts like a little end table. With a lamp, this little shelf is perfect for the books I'm currently reading and also a great place to set my coffee while I'm in the chair. So with this new setup, I use the platinum colored metal alpha grate that just snaps into the uprights. And then from this grate, I can hang little shelves and little clear storage containers, as well as hooks and all sorts of other things. I'm sure this arrangement will evolve over time, but it's really super easy to move things around on this grate. And then the top of this little reading area, I have a narrow eight inch shelf just with some decorative books. To finish things off in my office, I hung up some pictures that I already had. These two pictures I took years ago. The top one is from when I went backpacking through Denali National Park in Alaska. And the bottom one is a picture I took while canoeing through the Everglades with my college roommate. Above my chair, I have a reprint of a topographical map from Denali National Park. And then on the other side of the window, I hung these two pictures I made when I was a little kid. My mom found them a few months ago and had them framed for me, which was very nice. I think the bright colors look nice in my office. I can't tell you how excited I am about my new office. I'm realizing now that when a space is organized and set up the way you want, you just naturally want to spend more time in there. And so far, I've been spending a ton of time in my office, and I just feel so productive and organized when I'm in here. 
So if you couldn't tell, Donnie is just a little bit excited about his office. I think we hit our two primary goals for this space, which was for it to be organized and for it to be masculine. I'm so glad that Donnie has a space that's all his own, that is functional and perfectly meets his style. Before you go, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video and head to abbyorganizes.com bonus to get our exclusive bonus for newsletter subscribers.